What's going on guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. And today as we Saturday 25th of May, got confirmed us to go through as well as the rumours. So just before we get started, if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box and current schedule every day at 8am UK time, it's a new transfer video. And finally, in the comment section below, who's the best player to ever play for the team you support? Right, let's jump into the very first confirmed deal of the day, as going to a player called Shabo or Shabot. He joined Sampdoria from Groningen. It's a 4 million euro fee, and he signed a five year contract. That is followed by a goalkeeper called Lursel going to Everton from Huddersfield. It's a free transfer because his contract has expired, and he signed a three year deal with the Toffees. And it seems that Everton are very close to signing a second player on a free transfer for the upcoming season. And uh, this is at least according to the standard. They're saying Everton are in pole position to sign Danny Welbeck on a free transfer from Arsenal. And like I just said, it'd be after the announcement of Lursel. Newcastle are preparing an offer for CSK Moscow star Mario Fernandez. That's according to the Mirror. The Magpies are looking to enhance their defence this summer and they see the right back as an ideal option to replace DeAndre Yedlin and Javier Manquillo. But the 28 year old Russian international still has three years left in his current contract with the Russian side, meaning he could cost around £26 million. I can't remember the exact fee that Newcastle played for Miguel Almiron from Atlanta, but that was a record signing back in January and I think it was around £20 million. So if this transfer goes through for Fernandez, it'd be a new record for them. And next up, according to Manchester Evening News, they said Manchester United remain interested in signing Adrian Rabiot, who is set to leave Paris Saint-Germain on a free transfer during the summer. There is plenty of interest there, and if you go back to the January window, it seems like it was definitely certain to, to at least go to Barca, um, but since then, it seems to have fallen through a bit, but there is still a lot of remaining interest in the player. And now another player linked to United, this time according to the Daily Mail, is going to Belgian international Thomas Munier. They said Manchester United have held talks over a move for the Belgian this week. That's due to concerns they'll be priced out of a move for Aaron Wan-Bissaka from Crystal Palace, who seem to be demanding over £70 million. There were rumours from France last week saying that Mounier had been offered a contract by Everton um, and he might consider it. The player himself may want to stay at Paris Saint-Germain for next season, but the club, they may look to sell him. And moving on, another player actually linked to move away from Paris Saint-Germain this time is going to Dani Alves. He has confirmed that spells in the Premier League and Major League Soccer appeal to him, with the Brazilian still mulling over his options at Paris Saint-Germain. At 36 years of age, the veteran fullback is approaching the end of his current contract in France and yet to make a decision on his future. And now we move on to two rumours for Borussia Dortmund and I, I want to say that they've had the best window so far uh, even though the transfer window hasn't technically opened just yet but according to Build in Germany Borussia Dortmund are interested in signing former Bayern Munich striker Mario Mandzukic. He's currently playing for Juventus and not only can he score goals, his work rate is second to none. And bear in mind they've already announced the signings of Paco Alcacer from Barca, that was back in January, uh, Schulz, Dorgan Hazard and Julian Brandt already. And the second player linked to today is going to be according to a journalist called Alfredo Padula. And he is saying that Borussia Dortmund are keeping an eye on Duvan Zapata after an excellent season with Atalanta. The 28 year old has scored 27 goals in 47 games while alone to the Serie A side uh, from Sampdoria, who still own him. Dortmund have been keeping track on him for a while and sent a scout out to watch him against Juventus on Sunday. That's with a talk of a summer bid being lined up. And it definitely comes across that Dortmund really want to challenge for that Bundesliga title again next season because they just fell short this season despite having a very, very big lead over Bayern Munich. And with the rumours that Bayern are going to be spending a lot of money, uh, Borussia Dortmund have got to keep up. And now we have a short one from the Daily Mail. And they're saying Leeds United have received a £10 million bid from Tottenham for winger Jack Clark. As Spurs were interested back in January alongside Manchester United and I believe Southampton. And given the fact that Leeds won't be in the Premier League next season, it might be quite difficult to keep hold of him. The Daily Mirror are reporting that Inter Milan have already agreed personal terms with Romelu Lukaku for around £175,000 a week. And they hope to sign the Belgian international for a fee in the region of £50 million, but Man United want closer to 70 mil. 
And it does make sense why United are holding out for a better fee because they paid over £70 million for him in the first place. And for Inter Milan with Conte coming in, I'm not sure how much he'll be given to spend. But if they are buying Lukaku amongst a few other players, they have got a massive transfer budget for the summer. And next up, according to Goal.com, they said Napoli are interested in signing Liverpool fullback Nathaniel Klein. He was on loan from January to Bournemouth for last season, and Liverpool are apparently holding out for a fee of £15 million. There has been rumours suggesting that Napoli, alongside Atletico Madrid, and they're both like having like a bit of a tug of war over Kieran Trippier, but Nathaniel Klein might be a backup option. Liverpool will be hoping to sell him this summer again for that 15 mil and Sky Sports are suggesting that other Premier League teams are interested. And now a player playing for Atletico Madrid this time according to Goal.com again, they're saying Felipe Luiz is keen to remain at Atletico Madrid despite reported interest from Wolves and Paris Saint-Germain. And because Atletico might be getting rid of a lot of players this summer, I would imagine they want to keep hold of a few, especially like Felipe Luiz, we'll have to wait and see. But now a player potentially going to Atletico, this time according to Marca. They're saying Hector Herrera has reached an agreement to join Atletico and set to sign a five-year deal with the club. It'll be a free transfer from FC Porto and they have been in talks for a while now. Liverpool, Manchester United and Arsenal are all interested in signing James Rodriguez. He's expected not to stay out buying on a permanent basis now after a two-year loan spell and is set to return to Real Madrid. But at Real Madrid, they're not really looking to keep him, so a Premier League move could well be on the cards. And next up, we have got a very interesting one. And there's a couple different sources for this one. The very first one I'm going from is going to be AS. They said Tottenham have contacted Real Madrid in an attempt to start negotiations over Marco Asensio. They have been told the Spanish international is not for sale. But according to Don Ballon, however, Real Madrid are prepared to offer Marco Asensio to Tottenham in exchange for Christian Eriksen. The Blancos also want to receive a 70 million euro fee or 62 million pounds as part of a deal, given the Spaniards age and current standing at the Santiago Bernabeu. However, for Tottenham, they're only interested in a straight swap, which means that at this point in time, if things don't change, it's very likely that Eriksen will stay at Tottenham for next season and Marco Asensio will stay at Real Madrid. But it could all change completely because for Ericsson, I could be wrong, but I think his contract expires next year. Like in 12 months time could potentially be a free transfer. Uh, so Spurs might try and cash in. We'll have to wait and see how that one pans out. And next up, according to Le Keep, they are saying Arsenal are targeting Barcelona defender Samuel Umtiti. The director of football is currently behind the push, but the Catalan club wants to negotiate a fee of around 60 million euros. And a reason that Arsenal could be looking for a new centre-back such as Umtiti is because their current captain, Lauren Koscielny, is seriously considering a summer move. And the current favourites, again according to Le Keep, are going to buy Leverkusen. Arsenal are currently stalling on offering him a new contract and potentially the former France international could be looking for a move elsewhere and a different challenge. And now according to Goal.com, they're saying Barcelona are piecing together a plan to lure De Ligt to the club. And this is a plan that actually avoids needing to deal with his agent Mina Raiola or increasing their current 75 million euro bid. And um, referring to the story just a second ago with Samuel Umtiti uh, Koscielny from Le Keep, they are saying in the same article that Barca are currently competing with Liverpool to land the lick for around 75 million euros. Um, so for Barca, they might have to sell Umtiti in the first place uh, to somewhat fund the lick. And for Arsenal, that could be beneficial. A fair few reports are now suggesting that Manchester City will pursue Benfica wonder kid Joao Felix as Leroy Sané's potential replacement. That should the German international leave this summer for Bayern Munich. Bayern confirmed the interest yesterday or on a Thursday, should I say, and like publicly they're looking into it and might pursue that deal. And it'd be a very, very large fee, upwards of £70 million, and they could reinvest that straight away into Joao Felix. According to Marca, Real Madrid defender Sergio Ramos is questioning his future at the Santiago Bernabeu after a turbulent 2018-19 campaign. The 33-year-old has spent the last 14 years of his career in the Spanish capital, but is thinking about undertaking a new challenge for next season. Manchester United and Paris Saint-Germain have expressed an interest in Ramos over the past year and could be tempted to launch summer bids. And if you go back a couple of years ago, United were massively linked to Sergio Ramos back then as well. So it's not really a new rumour just yet. Uh, the interest has remained there. But the reason that apparently he's looking for a move elsewhere a couple of years ago in the first place was to get a better contract. 
and another player linked to United now, according to Miguel Delaney. He is saying Manchester United have made contact for Atletico Madrid attacker Antoine Griezmann. That's as Barcelona continue to drag their heels over a deal and maybe he could be looking to join United, but you'd still imagine that Barca are favourites. But then again, there are still rumours suggesting that Barca might have to sell a few players to bring players in, especially after already signing the likes of Frankie de Jong for about 75 million euros. So if they have to sell Umtiti, the likes of Rakitic maybe, and even Felipe Coutinho, they might have to sell them before going for players like Griezmann. And the final one of the episode is going to be Leroy Sané and his potential move away from Manchester City to German champions Bayern Munich. So Fabrizio Romano said yesterday that Bayern have submitted an 18 million euro offer to Man City for the 23 year old forward. And Gazzetta dello Sport are saying Bayern have offered him a contract until 2024 worth 200,000 euros per week. And they also claim that Bayern have made an 18 million euro bid. Now it's up to City whether they accept that or say, you know what, we want this amount. But it looks like it potentially could happen now. And this comes just a day after Bayern announced they are officially interested in the player and it could be making a move. But that guys is going to be it for this video. So as always, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box. Current schedule every day at 8am UK time is a new transfer episode. And finally, in the comment section below, who's the best player to ever play for your favourite team? Let me down below. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.